Hi everyone, I'm Christopher Platt, Mono County Library Director and co-host of the Oxygen Starved podcast. I'm back with another Book Talk Friday. If you can see behind me, I happen to be in the kids' room today, so I'm going to be talking about two kids' books, one old and one new, that you can check out from your library. First, let me give you some context. You may have heard of the author Dave Eggers. He's famous for books like Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius, or most recently, The Circle, which was made into a movie. He's also written numerous kids' books. Many years ago, he started an after-school writing program for underprivileged kids in the Bay Area. They had to find a space for this program. They found one at 826 Valencia Street. It had a workroom in the back. The catch was that they had to have a retail component. They had to sell something in order to be able to rent the space. So they decided the workroom would be the place where the kids do their creative writing program. And in the front, they'd sell something. And on a whim almost, they decided to sell pirate supplies. Just cause. Guess what? That pirate supply store became really famous and actually helped fund the work that was going on in the workroom in the back. So famous, in fact, the program and the store that he decided to create a foundation and create that model in other cities. And in fact, today, if you go to the Echo Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, you will find a time travel store with a secret room in the back for kids to do creative writing. If you go to Chicago, you will find a secret agent store, again, with a secret room in the back for the kids to go do their program. And in New York, there's a superhero supply mart, again, with a secret door that only the kids can go through in the back where the after school program actually happens. He hired creative, young, energetic talent to lead these programs, and it's no surprise that over the years, many of them went on to other things, which brings me to the two authors I'm talking about today. Let me start with the old book. Billy Twitters and His Blue Whale Problem by Mac Barnett, illustrated with Adam Rex. Remember, picture books have an author and an illustrator usually, so often two different people. Mac Barnett um, is the, an alum of the A26 program, and in this, his first picture book, he talks about what would happen if a kid doesn't do his chores and his parents threaten to buy him a blue whale as punishment. I'm not going to read you the book, but he is not worried about this problem because he knows a thing about two or two about blue whales. They're 100 feet long. They're the biggest animal in the world. It's not like you can have one delivered to your house overnight. Or can you? If you Google Mac Barnett, you will see a TED Talk that he did many years ago. It went viral when it came out, in which he talks about working with young kids and tapping into their sense of serendipity, their sense of creativity, and their own unique sense of what is reality. And he talks specifically about Billy Twitters and the blue whale problem. And let me show you why. I'm gonna do something only librarians are allowed to do. Take the cover off the book. So if you had bought this book back in the day and took the cover off, you would notice on the back, there's an ad for buying or adopting your very own blue whale. All you had to do was send a self-addressed stamped envelope to this address. Unique, right? Kind of fun? A little bit of an Easter egg? Google Mac Barnett, watch that TED Talk. It's a good 15 minutes of joy and wonderment and humor, and you will find out more about what happens when you put an ad for a blue whale on a kid's picture book. Let me talk about the new book. The Couch Potato by Jory John, another 826 alum, and Pete Oswald. This duo has been on a roll with picture books recently. You've heard me talk about them before. The Bad Seed, The Good Egg, Cool Beans, Couch Potato is the latest. What is unique about this is it still fills that theme that they have going of, of humor and, and creativity, but it also tackles an issue that they finished the book before the pandemic, but an issue that came up to the forefront in many people's minds was when you're working with kids, how much screen time is good versus outdoors time. Not going to read you the book, The Couch Potato. The blurb is, find out how one laid back potato gets up, gets out, and gets active in this hilarious book. 
This tech savvy spud reminds us that finding the right balance between screen time and the world outside might just be the root of true happiness. Get it? Root? Potato? Funny. So, Billy Twitters and his Blue Whale Problem by Mac Barnett, The Couch Potato by Jory John. These books are available in your local library. Remember, you can call ahead to your library to have them delivered and waiting for you. Already checked out, you just have to pick them up. Or you can go to our website, go to the online library menu, and find ebooks, e audiobooks, and streaming videos to watch. In the meantime, happy reading and stay safe, Mono County.